Hey, 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 welcome back to the car shocker. My name is Jimmy Prater and I'm a car closer. I'm a car closer. And I train other people to be car closers. I train you to be professional car closers. That's what we do. And nobody's better than a car closer. That's what we do. We close people. We go in, we reach for the money. We get all the money out of their pocket and we put it in our pocket. That's what we do. We love doing it. It's our drug. We love the clothes. Okay, we love it. Dealers, I want to talk to you about your 7, 8, 9, 10 car guys. Your 7, 8, 9, 10 cars guys. They, they just can't get over the hump. You know, the biggest problem with those 7, 8, 9, and 10 car guys, the people that are selling under 10 cars every single month, my biggest issue with them is trainers who are always putting them down. They're always pitching you as a dealer. Hey, I want to make sure your 7, 8, 9, and 10 car guy will make sure we sell him 15 to 20 cars. It's not going to happen. 7 to 10 is not going to sell 20. It's not going to happen just right off the bat. Okay, so get it through your head. It's just not going to happen. It's not feasible. All right, but what is feasible is holding higher gross. Now, I know we're all trying to make a quarter for the manufacturers. So we, all, we want everybody just to sell, 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 give, 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 away, 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 away. We're not going to be giveaway artists anymore. We're going to go get the dough. And there's a way to get the dough by being a closer. Salespeople who are now what? Product specialists? They're closers. They're going to get the dough. They're going to get the dough. They're going to get the dough. And once they get the dough, then they can go. They can go right straight to the bank. And then they're going to have a smile from here to here. And that's what you want them to have. Get grosses. You think the, the, the competition is too fierce that you can't get a gross? You can't ask for the sale? You can't ask for gross? Yeah, that's what, exactly what's happened. See, it's easy to sell 15 or 20 cars. It's easy to sell 15 or 20 cars. Because if you don't care about gross, you can do that. Notice it. We need those guys on the floor too. You, we need giveaway artists because we have to make the manufacturer's quota. We got to do that every month. I know. I know. If, if, if I had a clown face on, it would be like this and like this. You know, because I'm about gross. I love gross. And I'm all about the clothes. If there's a little light in it, I get the deal. If there's big light in there, I wrap my arms around the light. But see, what we need to do is we, not, we need to not worry about the guys that are selling under 10 cars a month. But what we need to do is motivate them to hold gross. How can we do that? Well, make sure we have the right closing process in place and make sure the desk guys are doing their job. They got to do their job properly or otherwise you're not making the gross. Are they cutting corners? They're going to need some training too. You're going to need some training how to, how, to, how, to, how to desk a deal. Now, the car shuckers got over 30 different proposals. Now, I, you know what? Whatever you're comfortable with, use it. Because they all have the same thing in common, meaning your proposals. They all, they, they all have your price, your down payment, your trade, and your payment. And then they have all this other Mickey Mouse stuff that you got on. I know, I know. We, the car sharkers got 30 proven outstanding proposals that we train on over 30 and they're developed by me they're crazy they're so good they're crazy i'm going to tell you how i develop them when i when i used to do event sales i was a closer at these event sales and i would go back to the hotel room at nighttime and i would try to think how did i close that deal how did I, that deal get close how did we make fifteen thousand dollar gross on that deal $15,000 gross was, I mean, we'd get those. I said, oh, I know what I did. And I'd start writing it down. I'd start writing exactly what I said. Sooner or later, I'd say, man, I, I, I could put these in proposals. The desk can just do it and just fill in the numbers. And we go from there. Okay. So, but you, there would be people in, on the road that would sell three cars in 10 days and make a check. A big check. So these trainers out there who can't get on the floor and close a car deal, you, and you know you can't, trainers. You, you, you act like big shots sometimes in front of your little cameras in your big studios with your bling bling all going over, just like this, bling bling, all your blingers. You say, wow, that guy must be incredible trainer. Wow, he can't close. 
You got to close. You got to close the door. You have to shut it down. And you know what? This is, this is no joke. Because you invest in the salesperson, right? You invest in the salesperson with training. You invest with the salesperson. And you just don't want to tell them to close. It blows my mind. They have to close. Salespeople have to close. Salespeople close the product. They don't close the figures. Salespeople close the product. Salespeople close the product. Closers close the figures. I'm not talking about the desk guys. Okay? They're the auditors. They're the guys that when another salesperson, a veteran salesperson, say, hey, listen, I already did the figures. I did all the numbers. Everything's all set, ready to go. And you don't have a closer to go out after them and say, hey, I'm just going to go out for a courtesy bump. What's wrong with your store? Every dollar, every month adds up. But let's get back. Let's get back to that salesperson that's selling less than 10 cars every month. Seven cars a month. Eight cars a month. Nine cars a month. Ten cars a month. Five cars a month. They're obviously not getting the training that they need. You keep telling them how many cars they have to sell to stay there to make certain bonuses. You know what? What about gross? How to hold gross? That's what we need to start focusing on with these salespeople that are selling less than 10 cars a month. Let's focus on gross. Okay, they're not going to, there's some people aren't going to get over that 10 car hump. So let's, let's talk about gross. Because that's all they're motivated to do. They, they only want to talk to two customers a day. They don't, they're not great at following up. All right? We can still preach it to them. We can still hope that they're going to do it. Just like a customer comes in, what do, they, what do they expect? Hope that they're going to get a good deal. Hope that they're not going to have an issue with a salesperson. See, buying a car is anxiety. But selling a car is even more anxiety. It's anxieties for these people. It's anxiety being on the floor, knowing that you have to sell a car to pay your bills. There's so much that goes into it, and we take it for granted. Managers, dealers, listen to me. You're taking it for granted. You got to work with the salespeople. You just have to. We need to make gross. We need to close. 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 And that trainer that's in your store right now is saying, I'm going to make sure he, he or she who's selling eight cars a month is going to sell 20. He's in fantasy land. That's what he is. He's in fantasy land. Tell him to go to Disney World because he's in fantasy land. That doesn't, that doesn't work out like that. Those trainers out there say, oh, yeah, give me more money, dealer. Give me more money, dealer, and I'll make sure your green peas sell 20 cars a month, 15 cars a month, 12 cars a month. Then they do this whole mathematical pro, uh, figures to you. They throw that stuff at you. Come on. We know that's not true. And then, and then they train you on this, um, the matrix system. Here's how you're going to present numbers, the matrix. It's, it's, it's just a four square that... It's just a four square, you know, but they expect you to present the numbers to a customer in a way that it shows, shout, and shove. So you're going to show them the numbers, you're going to shout it at them, and you're going to shove it in their face. Oh, no, this is the way it is. This is the matrix system. Here's your menu. There's your menu. What they're not teaching you is the closing process because there's two closes in a sale. I say it in all my videos. There's two closes in a sale. You close the figures. And you close the product. But you close the product first. That's why we got product specialists. Close, close, close that product. They got to sell, sell, sell that product. They got to make that product look like a million dollars. Because when the closure goes in, to present the figures, it's icing on a cake because it goes smooth from there. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you uh, click that subscribe button below? A little shark square. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Oh, if you like the video, click like, because I, I could use a friend. All right. Hey, my name is Jimmy Prater. This is the Car Sharker. This is the Car Sharker. 
We close deals. I close them. I love it. And I want you to do yourself a favor. Go close something.